So when you have leaky gut, something that you want to think about is that it's kind of like taking care of someone who's sick. You want to nurse these people and take really good care of them, be very gentle. And it's the same thing for your digestive system. When you have leaky gut, you want to be very gentle on your digestive system. And one way to do that is to soak and sprout your uh, legumes, your uh, seeds, your nuts, and um, your grains. And um, when I say soak and sprout, there are certain things you just soak and there are certain things that you'll want to go ahead and sprout as well. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And um, one, this is alfalfa. To be honest with you, I uh, don't use alfalfa a whole lot, but this is just for the sake of illustration. So I'm taking two tablespoons of alfalfa, and you would do that for any kind of um, seed like broccoli or mustard or any of these types of things that you want to eat um, sprouts. And so I took two tablespoons. I'm going to fill this up with some water. And you are good to go. I'm going to um, just make sure everything is covered up with some water. I don't want anything to be dried out. Now the thing about soaking things is that it's better to do it, um, leave it in the dark, kind of like when you plant something and it's in the soil in the dark. So um, you can cover it with a towel uh, and put it into a cabinet. Um, and that will leave it in the dark. Now, I soak it overnight, 8 to 12 hours. And then in the morning, I will rinse this. And now, if you're going to sprout, then you can either put it on a stand. You can purchase a stand that, I, I actually have one over here. You can put it on a stand on a plate and, um, and then you'd cover this or put this into a cabinet so that it's nice and dark for this while it's sprouting. And another easy thing if you don't wanna buy one of these things is to put it into a bowl and then you can cover it with a towel and if you cover it with enough towels, it'll be dark enough for it to sprout, or, or you can put this into a cabinet as well. So this is if you're going to sprout um, and eat the sprouts, like with broccoli and these types of things. And it's a wonderful way to get more nutrients um, and more antioxidants and uh, those types of things out of the, the sprouts. Things like um, seeds, for instance, pumpkin seeds and sunflower seeds, I simply soak them overnight. I rinse them really good and then I will dehydrate them so that I can store them. Things like your legumes, like these are some black-eyed beans. I will soak these overnight and then I'm ready to cook them. Um, the more darkly pigmented beans, like kidney beans, they have more anti-nutrients in them. So uh, they are not as well tolerated by some people. So if you notice that you're not tolerating your beans as well, soak them longer. Rinse them um, in the morning, like rinse them every 12 hours, but soak them for maybe 24 or even longer. And, uh, and that should, for a lot of people, help with these issues. Um, and and the nuts as well, if you're going to use nuts, it's much better to soak your nuts, rinse them before you, you use those. The things like um, the pseudograins, like amaranth, quinoa, and buckwheat, I will soak them, and I will sprout some of them and dehydrate them, but there are some that I will just soak and use right away, like buckwheat. We have some recipes um, showing that. But to get you started, I just want to let you know uh, or show you how to soak and sprout, what um, tools that you'll, you'll use, and uh, just how easy it is, just so that um, if, in case you've not tried it, um, just to get you over that fear factor. And uh, hopefully you'll go out and try soaking and sprouting some seeds and now that you've seen how easy it is.